Time to make some crispy pata with Landers. Hey, Erwan Yusuf here. Welcome back. If you've been here before, if you haven't, then thank you for joining us. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of videos this month and in the next following months, really talking mostly about pork in terms of pork recipe dishes and just pork in our culture here in the Philippines. Um, so I'm gonna do a whole pork series and it should be really interesting. And this is kind of the one that starts it off. I've been getting a lot of comments asking for traditional delicious Filipino pork recipes. And one of my favorites and actually one of my father's favorites, even though he's not Filipino, is crispy pata. So crispy pata, for those of you who are not familiar, is just a beautiful pork foot that's been cracked open, boiled and simmered until it's tender and gelatinous, and then deep fried into a crispy pillow of love and heaven. And it's the simplest thing. It's really easy to do. It's just a little time consuming, but I'll break it down for you. So yesterday I had to prepare everything. So what I did was take a pork foot. I then uh, boiled it with some aromatics. I used some anise seed, a little bit of sugar, some water, some salt. Some recipes call to use 7-Up or Sprite, but I like to believe that the traditional recipe probably did not use Sprite because we don't have Sprite. So what you do is you add some lemon, some water or some calamansi, and then some sugar. So that gives you kind of that Sprite vibe. You boil that for about two hours until all that kind of cartilage and all that fat and all that sinew comes out and the skin is very nice and tender. After about 15 minutes of boiling it, you add in some baking soda. That'll help kind of make the skin a bit more tender. Once it's done, drain it. Don't, don't, don't throw out the sauce because that stock can be used for beautiful soup later. Put the pork foot in a container on a plate and leave it exposed overnight in your fridge so it gets nice and dry. So now today, 24 hours later, we can prepare all the other ingredients and how to put this dish together. So in the Philippines, we love to eat things with sauce. So this sauce is a very basic and simple one, but it's absolutely delicious. A little bit of sugar some cane vinegar. Just gonna dilute the sugar in the vinegar. To that, I'm gonna add some soy sauce, some nice red chilies, put everything inside. And finally, a little bit of some minced red onion. You can add some calamansi in there if you want. You can add different aromatics. At the end of the day, it's really up to you. So now that your sauce is ready, we're gonna check on our pata. So if you look at it now, it's kind of like gnarly and all over the place because as I said, look at that fat right there. As I said, the skin starts detaching and everything. Um, it's barely hanging on in certain places, but it's nice and tender, which is exactly what we want. What we're gonna do now is cook it in some really hot oil at about 350 Fahrenheit, about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes on one side, five to 10 minutes on the other side. This is basically cooked. So all we're looking for now is just the crispiness and not necessarily to cook it through. Um, but before doing that, just to give it a little bit more texture and flavor, what we're gonna do is just add in some aromatics and some flowers on there. So I'm gonna make a very basic mix, some regular white flour, some onion powder, some garlic powder, toss all of that together. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take our pata, or our foot. If you have a brush, use a brush. I currently don't have a brush. So just take some fish sauce and kind of wet a napkin with it. And what we're gonna do is just dab the pata with it. This will help that mixture kind of stick to the foot. I know some people find it weird to eat pork feet or to eat feet or things like that, but when you think of an animal and you're eating animals in general, then you should be okay eating any animal part because it's all the same, right? You're eating its breast, you're eating its muscles, you're eating its foot. And these types of cuts usually are much cheaper because not a lot of people use them and they're really delicious because you have to work harder for the flavor. Now that that's kind of like moistened up, we're gonna go ahead and take our flour mix and sprinkle that on top. All right, that's completely dusted and should be good to go. Um, just kind of hit it a few times so that you make sure that you're getting rid of all that excess that you don't need. Check if my oil's ready. Maybe five more minutes and we should be good. My oil is at a perfect 350 Fahrenheit or 175 centigrade. You can also do this in a pan or a pot by shallow frying it. Um, just making sure at least half of the hawk is covered in oil. Here, we're gonna be slightly more submerged, but I believe that maybe a part of the hawk will still be out, which is completely fine. Um, and then just kind of gauge it. If you think it's crispy enough, then, you know, you're the one eating it, so it's up to you, really. So we're gonna do slow intrusion as not to agitate 
the oil too much. And I'm gonna start with the thickest side down. So right before finishing up, what I'm gonna do is take some cold water and add a little bit. You wanna do this really sparingly and making sure that you don't put too much so it doesn't go too crazy. But I'm gonna put a little cold water in the oil, which is a reaction you don't usually want. But just to finish it and get it nice and crispy, we're gonna do that. So make sure you're doing it in a controlled environment. You know what you're doing. If you're shallow frying, it's much better. But you see how much louder that oil is getting. I'm gonna close this up. And that's just gonna help finish up the pork absolutely perfectly. After that last minute rumble, you should have something nice and crispy with little bubbles in the skin, just like we do here. piece here into my sauce you're looking for something nice and crispy yet the part that's crispy should have been a part that was made really nice and soft what I love is I get the anise and sweetness flavor that I put yesterday in the in the boiling solution thanks for dropping by guys this is the type of recipe you can make easily at home absolutely delicious Perfect for the whole family. If you have something that's about three to five pounds, um, that's delicious. And Filipinos love pork. So we'll be continuing this pork series all throughout the next couple of months. And just really exploring why pork is so important here and some of our favorite dishes with it. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to subscribe, like the video, because when you like the video, it actually really helps kind of make sure people see the video. So the more people see the video, the more we can actually do this and the more everyone's happy and it'd be a great time. Peace out, thanks guys.